Now imagine this flying anywhere else. Last night, Don Lemon thought it was hilarious when guests on his show mocked Kanye West's intelligence ahead of the rapper's meeting with President Trump Thursday, tomorrow. And it was done in the most offensive way possible. Watch. Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read. Um, and, and we have this now, and now Donald Trump is going to use it and pervert it, and he's going to have somebody who can stand with him and take pictures. <laughs> and he's an attention whore like the president. He's all of a sudden now the, the, the model spokesperson. He's, he's the token Negro of the, of the Trump administration. This is ridiculous. No one should be taking Kanye West seriously. He's clearly has issues. He's already been hospitalized. Joining me with reaction is Candace Owens, communications director for Turning Point USA. Candace, it really turns out that they cannot accept anyone who disagrees with them, who has any affinity for or any agreement with President Trump. Who, who's the intolerant one now, Candace? They are absolutely intolerant, but I'll say this, most especially, to add to your statement, most especially black people. The Democrats rely on our vote. If they secured 85 percent of our vote, they would lose. So they need to achieve more than 85 percent of the black vote to sustain their party. So they have gone through great lengths to smear Kanye West. And what they said last night was not only racist, it was absolutely despicable. And I cannot believe that it would be allowed on any network, let least of all having a host that's laughing as if it's funny. Yeah, the entire panel kind of just went on with that. Imagine if a, a, a conservative host uh, had a guest on who said something like that and laughed. They would, there would be calls for boycotts. I mean, I got in trouble with poor old uh, uh, LeBron James, I was just teasing him, like, it's like, oh, you can't say, I, but it's just, it's like, you can't joke, but they can say the most horrific things possible, and, you know, you're, you're, you're shut down. What does this mean, though, for the Democrat Party? I think they're worried, are they not, Candace? I mean, you've broken through <laughs> in your own way in politics, you just kind of came on the scene with Turning Point USA. There are other people who are coming forward saying, huh, the demonization of Donald Trump and the Republicans. God, the economy is doing really well. I mean, the market's down today, but, you know, this, this kind of stuff happens. But the stuff's going pretty well, and these people seem really angry all the time. It, it, it kind of doesn't compute at some point. Well, the anger is masking their insecurity. They are terrified. They were not predicting this. They were, had no idea that there was any chance that conservatives might come after the cultural war. They won the cultural war a long time ago. So for Kanye West to stand up and to say that I support Donald Trump, that terrifies them. So they're going to say whatever they can to smear him, to make sure that no other black people wake up and understand that it has been the left that has harmed our community. It has been Democrat policies that have rendered our communities in the shape that they are in today when we talk about Chicago and Philadelphia and all the major cities that they have run down. Black people are having a mass awakening, and Kanye West is a big part of the reason why. Now, you've met with Kanye West. I guess you're going to meet him tomorrow before his lunch with President Trump. Uh, you guys struck up something about friendship. What, what is it with him and Trump? Is it just, you know, their, their, their pals? Is there a, a, a path toward, you know, criminal justice reform, prison reform, other work they might do to get kids out of gangs? Like, what, what's the collaboration there? Look, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I will tell you my assessment of it after having several conversations with him. First and foremost, Kanye is very educated about the Democrat Party and the history of a Democrat Party. Uh, beyond that, Kanye West really does believe in uniting both sides and going forward. You know, we know the left. They want to make sure that everybody is separate. They want to keep the themes of racism alive. They like fear-mongering. Kanye West is not about any of those things. He really wants to see a world that is better than the world that we were in yesterday, and he sees a unique opportunity in Donald Trump. because. He sees that our president is courageous. He's willing to say the things that need to be said. And we haven't had that, certainly not for the last eight years when Barack Obama was in office. I think they're terrified of Kanye West. So it's like, he's crazy. <laughs> he's take, he belongs in an insane asylum. They, they don't want to actually argue about the thing, which is the failures of the Democrat Party, Candace. All right, Candace, give us an update after your, uh, after your meeting tomorrow with Kanye.